My name is Jake Cowie and I work for Pete's Custom Coach Building. It's a uh, auto restoration shop in Hartsgrove, Ohio. Here at the shop we work on a lot of uh, unique and rare automobiles. When a car comes to us it's, it's in really bad shape. Um, it's, it's something you'd find uh, out rotting in the woods or, or in someone's garage. There's parts missing, there's holes rusted through them, there's, there's just rot, and these cars have been abused, they've been wrecked, they're, they're not anything that looks like it would be a nice car. Um, they're just shells uh, of what they were designed to be, they're, they're shells of what they used to be. It's our job as a restoration shop to take those cars and, and make them look like they did when they came out of the factory, um, if not even better than that. When we bring a car in, one of the first steps we do is, is we, we tear it all apart, we disassemble it if it's not already in boxes. After we disassemble it, we have to strip everything off of it and get it down to bare metal. That means getting rid of rust, that means getting rid of old paint, that means getting rid of uh, things that have gotten stuck in the car, stuck to the car. We've got to take the car back to, to bare metal before we can proceed with restoring it. We have to weld over any hole that's there. Um, you know, put a new piece of metal in and, and fix that hole. Or, or you might have a car that's been, been torn apart. Maybe it's been uh, run into or had something fall on it. And, and we got to take that tear in the metal and we got we to weld it back together and, and fix what's there. Change takes a lot of work. There's, there's pieces of cars that I've literally sanded for days on end. You, you put a layer of filler on them and then you sand them, but that imperfection's still there, so you, you have to put more filler on them, and then you sand them, and then you do it again, and again, and again, and eventually, that little imperfection is gone, and you're left with a piece that looks brand new. And you may not enjoy those days when you're sitting there sanding that piece day after day, uh, but when you've got the, the paint on it, and you've got that piece that looks brand new. It's a, it's a great feeling. If you want a car to be restored, um, everything in that car has to be made new again. Um, that goes for the steering wheel, to the door hinges, to the door handles, to the very innards of the car. It's so impressive when you get to put all those little pieces that you've worked on over the months and, and years even on, on a vehicle and put them together. You see them as a whole and as this really cool creation and, and something that's, that's functional and, and beautiful at the same time. At the beginning, a lot of people might look at these cars and go, uh, why would anybody want that? It's, it's junk. It's, it's a rusted, rotted piece of junk. It's, it's torn to shreds. Um, and they would see no value in that. But someone out there sees the value in these cars. They don't see a piece of junk. They see something that could be restored they look at these cars and, and see potential. They see something that can be transformed and, and be made beautiful again. And that's what restoration is. Mm -hmm.